coming. Let's give it up for the band one more time. Healing music. I need more music in my life. Friday night. Um, it's a beautiful day. I appreciate all the friends and family that came out. So let's have a good night. I'm going to share some poetry with you. Uh, the first one. The first one speaks to somewhere I hold very near to my dark and my heart. Cambridge Islands. We have some Cambridge right into the house. So um, this poem speaks to how these ten little islands have grown and developed and now have become a very big tourist attraction. So this baby that's growing up, this poem speaks to my feelings and how we have to be somewhat cautious in this transition and that exposure can be good in some aspects with tourism and beautiful hotels, but we can't get lost in this transition and that we forget our people, we forget our roots, we forget sometimes the essence of who we are when we see those bright lights and change. So this one is called Nostada. It translates to those that don't speak Creole to our land, Nostada. And there's one line in this poem that is not in English, and it's Nostada Cabo Verde, Cabo Scarcity with Contariojo, which means our land, K Verde, don't forget your Contariojo. Do we know what a Contariojo is? Anyone have a Contariojo in the house? Okay, a couple of you have it in your necklace. And if you don't know, it's a necklace that's black and white beads, and the um, story behind it is that it's a protective necklace that will protect you from bad spirits and bad things. So that's what that I'm hoping that we can protect our islands from those things. It's called Nostada. Used to move in, so I'm gonna have to work with this one, okay. She stands grounded in her roots. She carries the world on her back, wrapped around in African wraps. The winds in her hips and fire exudes from her fingertips. Sunshine in her smile and the mystery of the moon in her eyes. Regardless of hair length or texture, skin tone, orientation, living in developed or third world nation, her heart overflows for where she calls home. Ten little gems that stand united near their motherland. Her soul, also known as Criala. My ancestors whispered to me their stories. My lips spoke their names. Boa Vista, Santiago, San Nicolau, Mayu y Fogo. It's Daz Ilia, Maria's Daz did it anymore. These ten islands, like my ten fingertips. Sal, Santa Lucia, San Vicente, Santa Clau, y Brava, y Santa Andam. Each with its own essence, all within me. From the lava rocks of Fogo, to the white sands of Mayu. From Santiago's Batuc to San Vicente's Coladera, Cola, Cola, Coladera, Coladera. I sway in your rhythm, I caress myself in sunny cloud sunset. I elevate to Sunday Town Speak, and I slide down Boa Vista sand dunes. I bloom in Brava's garden, and at a distance, I see my silent sister. Santa Lucia watching over me. Finally, I land to open arms at Cabral's door inside. And as I transcend in this vast sea of history, engraved in me, selfishly, I want to keep you hidden. As I'm fearful of exposure sins, I want you hidden like my secret hiding place, where childhood memories lie and bright blue skies of fading faces and my roots are painted in vibrant blues of red, yellow, and green and a grandmother's kiss on the forehead makes time stand still as you transcend in this sea of history 
all that I ask is for you to wear this gift, this quantity all you around your soul, molded by ancestors' sweat and tears, engraved with more by the smiles of yesterday. My ancestors, they whisper to me, no stare a verde. So this next piece talks about one of our giants that we lost this year and I felt it was only right to write a poem dedicated to her. And I'm speaking of Maya Angelou. Yes, yes indeed, yes. Yes, Marcy. Spoke about all this craziness going on, and you know, um, it's just highlighted what happened in St. Louis, what's happening in St. Louis, but it's, it's going on all over the world, so it kind of made me want to do this piece. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but I'm going to do it because there's a lack of love going on in this world. Um, I don't even think I have a title. So, it is what it is. Not in this room. <laughs> no, it's definitely a lot of love, a lot of good vibes going on. My fingertips extend to beyond me, connecting I to we. My fingertips extend like three branches that go beyond this universe and wrap around this earth, pulling at every country, city, borough, and tree. Allowing our ancestors to rise, intertwining generations, cultures, past lives, and ethnicities, causing our ancestors to rise in hopes to pump blood, love into our seas, in hope of quenching men's greed, realizing that we are one with nature, divinely created. Agents of love. All right, let's start off with that just to bring the vibe right. So in my last piece, I spoke of a giant that we lost this year, Maya Angelou. So I want to bring it to another giant that we lost this year, and that was Nelson Mandela. Um, a man that really gave us the true definitions of words like forgiveness, yeah. perseverance, courage, endurance. I mean, to only imagine what he endured, but to see how he had an effect on the world. And this one human being that inspired me to write this piece. So this one is called Mind Over Matter. Because in reality, we're capable of doing anything we put our mind to. My, my, how society plays with words in our mind. Racism, classism, fascism, sexism, faced with every ism. How can you be the impurity of mankind when you're the source of the gold mine? Tricky lies of apartheid undermined the creator of a new time. Time, 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 27 times, history can't rewind. Unwind your conscious mind. Let your subconscious be free. Planting the tree of Africa's freedom tree, whose words breathe roots of unity. Allow your conscious mind to be free. Seeing the beauty within you and realizing that a messiah lies within you too. So, since we have great music today, this piece, the next piece I'm going to do is called Music. And it reminds me of so much of a poem I wrote when I was in college and what would the world be without music and that paper really got me to think how powerful music is in every aspect of our lives and how it brings so much emotion and how we 
hear the music and those that are so blessed to create the music. So this piece is called Music. So I'm going to dedicate this to the band and Amstead for all the blessings all right. he does with the music and everyone else part of this band. From the beginning, I was hooked. Baritone like the flute. And soothing flow had me floating down the Nile, slowly entering in denial's abyss. His fingertips tiptoed down my spine like that of the clarinet, a sensual unwind. Like playing the keys to the piano, it hit deep in my soul, allowing vibrations to flow. His African drum beat me, had me suspended in air, and a heaven of sinful desires. Like putting one step in heaven and one step in hell, unable to tell the truth. My Luther, fine tuning my insides, tightening and liberating my vocal cords at the same time. Like the sounds of the trumpet, it hit deep in my soul, allow my ear columns to vibrate like that of the trombone. I was an open love valve, open to his love, his mouthpiece, allowing him to play in any tune. Like the sounds of the Congo, you punctured my core, making me want more, 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 more than some more melody. My musical love note with the power of an orchestra and the sophistication of a fine tune. He played me. So, to, if you heard the last piece of Intrigued by Me, I would say this is inspired by that. I wrote that many years ago and I enjoyed that poem and I said I want to write something that's similar to it. So this is Intrigued by Me, so that would be the, I guess, older sister of, um, sorry, this is um, Reflections of Me, which would be the sister of Intrigued by Me. Um, so it's about how as females we're often looked at for our exterior and really we, our beauty comes from within and our essence comes from within, so this is what it's about, right? Right ladies, am I right? You see curly exotic hair, I see beauty intertwined with strength. My curly African roots, at times wavy as straight, by the relaxes rape, restraint of boldness, representing the many races and cultures that flow through me, the curly thread shaping me. But see, you see only the reflection of me. You see peacock feathered eyes, I see insight into life, able to perceive and see through the unconscious you. 2020 eyesight with night vision capabilities, and eyelash fences guard the window to my soul, the guide and light of my castle, where manuscripts lies and hidden treasures of golden truth. Precious dark mahogany jewels, able to see beauty and light and all that is life. See, you see only the reflection of me. You see full luscious lips. I see a voice that needs to be heard. Soft and fluid, yet powerful and strong. My African portal, one mic spoken word, tool of expression, poetic perfection, vocal creative eye chorus to my soul. See, you see only the reflection of me. You see a curvaceous hourglass shape. I see the silhouette of my soul with the strength of an elephant's trunk and the elegance of God's hands. Drawn in divine detail like only he can. With valleys and hills that make men rise to their feet. And with medicinal powers of love that bring breath to life and continue the cycle of life. See, you see only the reflection of me. 
You see my caramel complexion? I see the complexity within me. Golden brown crown that blankets me. Woven with strength and unity from my ancestry. Persistence, pride, perseverance define every shade of me. From my lightning in a palm to my chocolate tip breasts. All exuded the queen within me. See, you see only the reflection of me. Often seen as less than by blind men, unable to see God's loving light within me. You see only the reflection of me. Unable to see my powers. You see only the reflection of me. Unable to see my inner streams of fears, passion, doubts, and dreams. Oh, sound waves echo through every part of me. Blinded by its divine light, you see only the reflection of me. Beautiful. So thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed my poetry. I'll let you know I have cards there my, um, that have my website. Also, there's a piece of paper there. You can put your email. I'll let you know the next time I have a performance. So thank you. I send my love and God bless to everyone. Eva Bridget.